So on one of my previous videos on how to install Nintendo and playing GameCube games, there's been a few comments on the file format. As you can see, some people have been not getting ISO format. They've been getting NKIT instead, which seems to be the most common issue for Nintendo. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that and turn your NKIT files or GCZ files into ISO files. In the description, there'll be a link for Vim's layer and it'll take you to this page. And just click on the NKIT 1.4 plus GameCube partitions and it should download. This is going to be the software that's going to convert the files. Once that's done, just click it to open it up. I'm just going to drag this NKIT folder onto the desktop. But you can, you can put it anywhere that you want on your computer. So that's it for the internet. So let's just open the NKIT. And you're going to see all of these files. Just double click the green triangle NKIT processing app.exe and it should run. So once you're in here, just grab your file. As you can see, this one is NKIT.gcz and that won't work for Nintendo on the Wii. So we need to make it ISO. So drag that file in. You'll see it right here. Select the mode. Make sure you do convert to ISO. Don't do recover to ISO. That won't do the same. So make sure you click on convert to ISO and then just click process and it should begin. And there we go, it's done. And where you're gonna find it is go into that same NKIT folder, go to processed, GameCube, and there it is. Now it's an ISO. So then to play them and you rename it to game.iso, that is what you want. And for the sake of doing it, I'm going to do another ROM, Pac-Man. This is a nkit.iso. Now, when I highlight it, nkit is also highlighted. So when you rename it, it disappears. So it's pac.iso. That's the easiest way to do it. But some people, it's not even a possibility for them. So you need to use this nkit processing app. But you can do the same thing. Just you reset it, drag the file in. Make sure it's on convert to ISO and process, and it should do the same thing. And it's done. Go to process, GameCube, and there it is. It's just .iso now. But as you can see, the differences between, this is the one that was not processed, this was processed. The size difference is fairly substantial. It's almost twice as, as large, really. So if you can, try to rename it and do that. But if that doesn't work, you got to do the NKIT processing and change it to .iso. But that's basically it for the video. Super straightforward. If you have issues with the format, this is how you solve it. And the ISO games will be playable on Nintendo. But make sure they're the correct region because that also matters. If you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment if you ran into any issues. And if you want more Wii modding tutorials, check out my channel for my Wii modding playlist. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.